The Importance of a Healthy Microbiome Winner of the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1908 and founder of the field of immunology, Eli Mechnikov, Ph.D. said, Death begins in the colon. Similarly, health begins in the colon. Did you know that your gut is home to 100 trillion living microorganisms? These microorganisms, weighing about 3 pounds, share the food you eat and get a place to stay within your body. In return, some of these organisms aid in digestion, synthesize vitamins, bind up parking spaces along the intestinal wall to prevent infections, fight harmful microorganisms and even boost immunity. But how important is a healthy microbiome? The importance of a healthy microbiome, our 100 trillion friends who cohabit our body, the microbiome is a collection of microorganisms, mainly bacteria that form a unique ecosystem that has major effects on the well-being of the individual. Some are harmful and can cause diseases, and others are beneficial to the extent that they fight off infections, help in digestion of food and assimilation of nutrients. In order for you to maximize the benefits over dangers, you need to have proper microorganism balance in your gut. But this can be harder said than done in today's world where diet and lifestyle are too harsh for the growth of good bacteria. And yet, proper balance of the various microorganisms is critical for good health. The microbiome is not limited to the gut. Studies have found that an individual's combination of bacteria also exists on the outside of the body, and even on surfaces the individual touches. The individual microbiome also constitutes the personal genetic footprint which includes the individual unique DNA. Effects of the microbiome on health. Because the microbiome is composed of both good, beneficial, and bad, harmful, bacteria, its effects can be either good or bad. When you have an abundance of good bacteria in the microbiome, you will enjoy overall good health. However, if your microbiome has an abundance of bad bacteria, the result is generally poor health and poor immunity. It is therefore, obvious that you need a microbiome that is properly balanced and with a healthy amount of good bacteria. To achieve this, you need to incorporate some good practices as part of your lifestyle including the following. Avoid use of antibiotics whenever possible. Eat probiotic foods which are rich in fiber such as, as green vegetables, fruits, spices, whole grains and legumes. Eat probiotic foods such as yogurt, kefir, kombucha and fermented vegetables. Avoid refined carbohydrates, refined oil, trans fat and sugar. Importance of a healthy microbiome. While the microorganisms living in our bodies do so for their own survival, their existence offers many healthy benefits to the host. The microbiome acts like an additional organ with different functions in the body. Research indicates that in the gut, the microbiome plays a part in almost 90% of diseases that affect us. According to some studies, the microbiome has a role in diseases and conditions like leaky gut syndrome, arthritis, heart disease, dementia, cancer, infertility and aging. It follows that whenever our microbiome balance favors the wrong types of microorganism, the chances of developing disease increase and when the balance favors beneficial bacteria, our bodies are better able to prevent disease. Your microbiome is important in the following functions. It supports digestion. While the human body produces enzymes to digest various types of food, different bacteria within the gut produce many more enzymes. This means that while the enzymes produced by the body have capacity to digest a few types of food, microbiome enzymes can have a wider range of action. The result is that the bacteria make our bodies better equipped to access more nutrients from the food we eat. One quoted case concerns the staple diet for some people in New Guinea, sweet potato. Studies indicate that although these people's diet is 90% sweet potato, the microorganisms in their gut synthesizes protein from it. The microbiome lowers inflammation. Some gut bacteria helps to lower inflammation that may be caused by allergens and sensitivities to some foods and environmental components. This helps to reduce the effects of food and seasonal allergies and associated infections. When you have adequate friendly bacteria, your body is better equipped to resist inflammatory conditions and infections, including leaky gut syndrome, colds, coughs and sore throat. Microbiome can help boost immunity. A healthy gut with a higher ratio of friendly bacteria to harmful bacteria helps to support the immune system. 
This leads to better overall health and specifically protects against autoimmune conditions like arthritis, Hashimoto's disease and inflammatory bowel disease. In case of a higher ratio of harmful bacteria to friendly bacteria, autoimmune diseases are more to set in. Promotes a healthy mind. Studies indicate that there are multiple nervous connections between the gut and the brain with signals being relayed back and forth. These signals are dependent on the composition of the gut microbiome and affect the mind in both short and long term. In case of poor gut microbiome balance, the signals from the gut may cause inflammation in parts of the brain and the nervous system. Such inflammation can lead to mental issues like poor memory, cognitive decline, dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Protects against cancers. Studies indicate that free radicals may have a role in the occurrence of cancer. Gut microorganisms are also believed to influence human genes and cause inflammation and cancers. It has also been shown that a healthy gut with adequate friendly bacteria helps to remove free radicals from within the gut and therefore stop these free radicals from accessing the rest of the body. When this happens, the body gets significant protection against various cancers including those of the colon, stomach, brain, prostate, pancreas and breast. Microbes in the gut generate by products such as butyrate, which is a powerful anti-cancer agent protecting colon cells. Microbiome affects mood. The gut feeling may only get casual mention. However, there are real connections going on between your gut and your brain that can affect your mood. In fact, even the food you eat can have an effect on how you feel. But how does this happen? According to this study, what you eat or drink affects your gut microbiome. It also affects activities of the neurotransmitters that are involved in the communication between the brain and the rest of the body systems. This affects how you feel. Research indicates that diet, lifestyle and environmental changes since the 20th century have led to increased depression and other emotional and mental health issues. This has been brought about by increased use of agricultural chemicals, depletion of nutrients due to over-farming and the resultant oxidative stress. These have affected levels of neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine and norepinephrine which are responsible for mood changes. The importance of a healthy microbiome cannot be overemphasized. It has so many effects on our health that research shows up to 90% of diseases can be attributed to poor microbiome balance. It therefore makes sense to work at maintaining a high ratio of good to bad bacteria. People interested in fostering a health-promoting array of gut microorganisms should consider shifting from a diet heavily based on meats, carbohydrates and processed foods to one that emphasizes plants. As Dr. Jeffrey Gordon, a genomics specialist at Washington University School of Medicine, told, the nutritional value of food is influenced in part by the microbial community that encounters that food. Foods rich in choline. Choline is a nutrient essential for healthy cells and for neurotransmitters involved in memory function and muscle control, as explained by the Linus Pauling Institute at Oregon State University. People's bodies create small amounts of choline, but they must also consume it in their diets. The Food and Nutrition Board of the Institute of Medicine of the National Academies recommends that men consume 550 mg per day, and women consume 425 mg daily. Meat and Seafood Meat and seafood are rich in choline, as noted by the LPI. 3 ounces of beef liver, for instance, contains about 350 mg of choline. A similar amount of chicken or turkey liver contains between 220 to 320 mg of choline. 3 ounce portions of lean beef, ham, veal, lamb, bison, chicken, turkey, Atlantic cod, salmon and canned shrimp contain 60 to 140 mg of choline. Eggs, milk and chocolate. Dried egg yolk is extremely high in choline. One large egg contains about 120 mg of choline, while one cup of skim milk contains 38 mg. Dried egg yolk is particularly high in choline, with nearly 1,400 mg in a 100 gram serving. Chocolate provides a sweet way to meet your choline intake requirements. A 1.5 ounce milk chocolate bar contains 20 mg of choline, while a 100 gram serving, about 4 ounces, of chocolate cake has nearly 130. Cocoa mix powder, with no sugar added, also provides over 115 mg of choline per 100 grams, which is about 30 mg for 2 tablespoons. 
Soy, seeds and nuts. Consider adding soy or nuts to your diet if you're looking to get more choline. People wanting to eat more foods with choline might add soy, flax seed and nuts to their diets. 3 ounces of tofu contains about 100 mg of choline, and the same amount of low-fat soy flour about 190. Meat substitutes containing soy are a good source of choline, as noted by the Linus Pauling Institute. Vegetables, herbs and spices. Brussels sprouts and broccoli are rich sources of choline. Some vegetables, herbs and spices are good sources of choline. One cup of cooked Brussels sprouts or broccoli both contain about 60 mg of choline. Dried celery flakes, sun-dried tomatoes, mustard seed, coriander leaf, dried parsley, dried coriander leaf, garlic or chili powder add choline to dishes along with flavor. Flax seed and pistachio nuts have 70 to 80 mg per 3 ounce serving, and 2 tablespoons of peanut butter provide about 20 mg of choline. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe to my channel Be Healthy.